Today, I'm going to be showcasing the August 2022 Bingo Guide. Um, I wasn't here for last month as I was busy with IRL stuff, but um, I'm going to be showcasing this guide today. It's going to start in 33 hours, um, August 1st, I think. There was one thing, this 250,000 bone collection, that's actually going to be reduced to 100,000. Um, it's just going to be rolled out when, in a while, or as soon as bingo starts. So that's actually one thing that I wanted to, um, tell you guys before I dive into all the goals, um, in a little while. Um, like other videos before, um, all these goals will be timestamped, so if you wanted to look at certain goals, if you're having trouble, um, look in the description for the timestamps. So yeah, let's get right into it and start off with the first goal, which is Poseidon. This is a community goal that revolves around summoning sea creatures. Um, you just need basically to get a fishing rod. You can get one if you go towards the fish merchant right here and get a fishing rod. Um, you can fish right there. I often go towards the, the park, the birch park. Um, and fish right here because when it is raining, um, I don't have a fishing rod on me. Oh my. That's loud. That's loud. Uh, water. Okay. Um, I don't have a fishing rod on me, but obviously summoning um, these squids will be easier than other sea creatures. So yeah, that's actually what you want to do for the first goal, which is going to be Poseidon. And yeah, let's move on to the next one. So pair up. The it requires you to find one pair in the experimentation table. To unlock the experimentation table, you actually do need to have enchanting level ten, as you can see, experimentation recipe. Um, I will show you the recipe on screen as well. Um, right here. So. 8 oak wood and an experience bottle. You can buy the experience bottle over here at the librarian. And you also would need, let me show you on my island, um, you would also need to do, oh, you wouldn't have to do the commentation or you wouldn't have to do the, um, this ultra sequencer. I'm just going to fail it. Just leave it like that. Just to show you guys um, an example here, you're going to be unlocking um, the beginner experience. It requires 25 XP levels. Um, it's basically easy to be honest. Um, oh, um, here, there. And just like that, that's basically one pair. Um, three clicks. And there, yeah, pretty much it. I found two pairs just easily like that. It's going to be possible to do it just in like one go. And that's honestly it for pair up. So the next one is um, healthy. It requires you to reach a thousand health. Um, what you actually want to do is go towards the mushroom desert I'll go towards there and show you guys um, and you want to follow me um, whoops and basically cut down these mushrooms and get enough to the point where you have um, other collections I believe it's 250 yeah 250 you want to um, basically craft this armor right here and as soon as you um, craft that armor in the night time that will triple your health and it will allow you to get um, closer to that goal you would also need to go towards um, oh, I could just go to that the librarian again you would need 50 um, XP levels per um, armor sets but let me just go right here um, growth 5, grant 75 health, 
um, 50 XP levels and you want to put that all on your mushroom set and that's going to be easily done for the 1000 health. So wooden treasure that is the next goal that requires you to unlock a wood dungeon chest. So the requirements here first you would need to get combat level um, work. You would first need to unlock combat level 15 to, to get um, to do the entrance floor. And then as soon as you can start floor one, that is when you can actually get a um, wooden chest there. And for this, you would just need to basically just do the find party finder um, and just configure the settings to where is the entrance. Um, usually it'll take about like two, three tries, um, depending on like who joins your party. But yeah, you don't need to do like a lot basically. And the wooden chest is free as well. Um, one thing that you could do to unlock your, um, what's it called, combat skill faster is if we go towards the dwarven mines that requires a mining 12 and a few quests that you have to do. Um, so let's do. If you have a pickaxe and you just kill any of these ice walkers, um, use the pickaxe because um, it basically like does insane damage to these ice walkers, one shots them. Um, and it will basically get you to combat 15 very quicker, very fast. Um, and that's the way that I would recommend it. And that's pretty much it for the wooden treasure one. So the next one is bone collector. Right now it says on screen that you would need 250,000 bone collection. That's going to be changed to 100,000 bone collection. Um, either when the bingo starts or in a basically short while. Um, for this, it is, I did see people say that will take about like 14 hours if you optimize it but um yeah if you just do minions um skeleton minions obviously um that's gonna be skeletons are found at the spider's den let me just find some all oh. um they're usually around here yeah they're usually right here uh between these archaeological things and you just basically want to kill these gravel skeletons. Um, unlock the skeleton minion. And let me go back to the Skyblock Hub. And as soon as you unlock skeleton minions, you can basically get five. Um, everyone starts with five medium storage chests. So you would want to place all those five medium storage chests with the skeleton minions to basically maximize how much um, bones you could get while you're like not collecting it. And that's how pretty much how you would want to do the bone collector. It is possible in the seven days given time um, to get the bone collection. So don't really worry about that. Just as long as you have those minions placed um, and as long as you're collecting, you're good. So Stranger Eggs, that requires you to spawn a Golden Goblin from Goblin Eggs. So how you get um, eggs, it's unlocked in, it's locked to Dwarven Mines. Again, you would need um, Combat, not Combat 12, you would need Mining 12 and then some quest items. Um, there's two ways you could get it. Um, one way is to, is basically by killing goblins or if you get I believe is it um yeah part of the mountain tree I'll show you just now um where so goblins they do spawn right here if you kill them you can get um eggs they rarely often appear um so one thing that I do is actually I go towards 
um, the Crystal Hollows. You would need 10,000 coins just to unlock it. And you would also need that Heart of the Mountain tree. Um, and as soon as you join to the Crystal Hollows, um, I'll just fast travel there. Um, you would want to go towards the nucleus and ooh, my bad. And you would want to go in towards the goblin hideout. And in the goblin hideout, you would want to find a chest, and hopefully, it would have some eggs inside, goblin eggs inside. And you just want to throw it. Um, I'm having trouble finding them. Um, yeah, here is one. Okay, so let's see if we can get an egg here. Um, not an egg here. That is loud again. I'm sorry for headphone users. Um, but I'm just going to be basically buying some eggs from Bazaar. Let's go towards Oddens. There's a combat. Um, yeah, goblin eggs. Um, I'll just purchase that. So I'm just going to throw a stack here. What? Do they not throw? Try. Okay, yeah, now they're showing. Wow. Nothing? Nothing? <laughs> Holy shit. Do they even spawn? What? This is a terrible example of people. Um, should I do the red ones? Yeah, I'll try, um, I'll try these. Holy shit. I know I spawned it before on my island, but like, that's crazy. Um, damn. Well, that's kind of how tough the um, goblin eggs are. I couldn't even like get it from just like just buying them. Anyways, um, but yeah, good luck um, doing that one. I know I would have fun. Um, so the next goal is called scavenger. It requires you to loot coins using the scavenger enchantment. The scavenger enchantment that is unlocked at um, enchanting level 1, I believe. Yes, so all you just want to do is go towards the librarian again. And you want to have 30 levels and enchant scavenger on your weapon. And just kill mobs. That's basically just all you want to do for um, that community goal. And that's pretty much it. On to the next one, which is called Podium Position. It requires you to obtain a silver or higher medal in Jacob's Farming Contest. Jacob's Farming Contest. You need to unlock, um, I believe it will show you in the skills. You would need to unlock level farming level 10. And it will allow you to basically see when the upcoming contests are. Um, the one that you would want to pay attention to is actually, I'll go into the calendar, um, wheat. So in an hour and 27 minutes, a wheat contest is going to be starting. And you just want to basically just farm some wheat here. You can do it in, um, you could do other farming collections that are happening, other contests. So the one that is going to be happening in a short while, carrot, cocoa, sugar cane. Um, you could also approach other ones. But wheat, I would think it's going to be the most easiest ones in towards getting a medal and a silver medal. The next one is diversity. It requires you to unlock 40 unique collections. 
um, collections. If you go to your Skyblock menu, go under Towards Collections, Farming Collections. If you grab any, if you grab one cactus, you unlock the collection. One carrot, unlock the collection. If you do any of these, any of these, any, 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 um, I believe these do qualify, um, but that's how you would want to do your, want to unlock the 40 collections, um, travel to different islands, just break a block easily like that, kill a mob, and pick up the stuff and you're just unlocking a collection. So the next goal is called Jungle Wood Collector. It requires you to reach 20,000 Jungle Wood Collection. Um, first off, you would need to unlock the jungle part of the, um, of the island. So access to the jungle island requires 45. Um, you would want to buy um, two gold ingots plus tree stones. Enchanting, enchant the axe with efficiency five. Um, would it be here? Um, yeah, you would need thirty levels for that. Um, so efficiency five. Go towards the jungle, which is gonna be. Um, I don't have anything locked. Go towards the jungle. You will have some competition here, like that person who is going to be basically... Hi there. Um, who's basically going to be chopping these jungle woods. Um, one thing that you would want to do is basically, if you are having trouble um, doing the jungle... The jungle collection um, I recommend just doing some stuff like uh, maybe a minion or even getting um, let me see if I can break some of these to get a sapling um, not having trouble finding a sapling great um, but if you do get saplings from jungles um, put it on your island wait for it to grow you can unlock the collection like that, I guess. But really, you would want to basically um, manually do this collection. And that's going to be um, what you would want to do for the jungle wood collector um, goal. So, Bedazzle, that's the next goal. It requires you to equip 22 unique accessories. I actually do have a video that's titled... 17 unique accessories, but in the video I do show 23 unique accessories. The only reason why it's because for a past bingo it was 17 unique accessories instead of um, 22. But um, it does show you exactly um, the accessories you would want to prioritize. And I will leave the um, in the description a link to the video you can always click on my channel and go to the video that's titled um, 17 unique accessories and good luck there so collecting data requires you to reach bestiary milestone 5 bestiary if you go towards your skyblock menu your skills under combat um, it's going to be titled bestiary um, on any of these stuff, you would basically want to, if you're going like looking at your private island, killing spiders, killing witches, zombies, um, certain amount of times, as you can see, if I kill 75 witches, um, that progresses me to a tier tree. And you would basically need, I believe it's about 50 um, tiers of um, any of mobs, to be honest, any of mobs. Um, to unlock your B-Serie Milestone 5. And I will show this in a video um, discussing the aftermath of Bingo of what I did personally. Um, I know what is easier if you do zombie villagers, um, wolves. Like, if you can do 
any mobs that you could basically kill um, during bingo. Um, that will help you a lot for the beast theory. Um, and yeah, but don't worry, I will be putting out a video um, discussing which mobs to kill, what tiers you would want it to get to. And yeah, I will also leave a in the description a link to um, the wiki of bestiary. So the next goal, it actually goes kind of um, in the same vicinity as wooden treasure. It's basically defeating Bonzo a thousand times. Um, again, this is locked to dungeons. You would need combat level 15. Um, and just use the party finder or find some people to carry you on floor 1 because that is where Bonzo is. Um, again, it's a community goal. Um, completing it once is fine if you want to do it more times. Up to you to get more bingo points um, but yeah that's it for that community goal now diamond collector it requires you to um, reach 25,000 diamond collection now diamonds they're actually found in two places in the deep caverns um, if you go towards the diamond reserve um, Diamonds, 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 all diamonds everywhere. Or the Obsidian Shanks Sanctuary, which um, diamonds are here. Um, let me try to find. Um, okay, here's a diamond block. So if you do um, mine diamond blocks, actually, it does give you a lot more um, towards the collection. You can also go towards the Dwarven Mines, and if you want it to be faster, um, basically just mine some diamonds in here. Um, right here, that's that's a nice thing. That's like six right there. Um, I'm going to check my usual spot where I mine Lapis, but I believe there is also diamonds as well. Um, yeah, so if you just come right here, how you get to here, um, just use, whoops, this right here, this, go up towards here, um, also another vein of diamonds, um, veins of diamonds, and yeah, veins of diamonds, basically in every mine carts. Um, you also have the option of putting down minions if you want to. Um, do I recommend it? Sure, if you're having trouble with it, but there is also other collections that you would have to um, do as well. Um, but if you are placing down um, diamond minions, you would want to actually get as well um, 1500 collection in the redstone to unlock enchanted redstone because that is going to be used if we go towards cobble we need to get a compactor this turns um, basically the single diamonds into diamond blocks into the minion and that requires a redstone and seven is that seven yes yeah, seven um, enchanted cobblestone and that's what you would want to basically do if you were going to do um, 25,000 diamond collection in minions but actually I do recommend doing it probably manually as that as it will be easier and as well as putting um, fortune on your pickaxe as well so the next goal is called strongman it requires you to reach 120 strength um, Personally, I will be getting the Raider Axe, and I will be getting, um, basically a splash, um, from a Discord that I will leave, um, down below in the description. They do free splashes, and it will basically help you get the strength goal. Also, doing some reforges, 
as well as optimizing your Talesman to have it in, um, to have it as, as strength, um, I don't know where I have it, yeah. So if you do optimize your Talesman to have it towards strength, that will help you as well. But even the Splash and Reforges, that's going to be certainly enough to get the Strongman goal. A warrior that requires you to obtain a level 10 in combat skill. You don't really have to do anything um, really as there is enough combat, as there is enough um, stuff in the bingo to, that will get you towards the combat skill. Again, if you are having trouble, go towards the Dwarven Mines. Um, we're actually going to go Forage. Go towards the door of the mines, get out a pickaxe, and basically kill these glassites. As that's gonna be easy combat skill. Um, what is that like? What seventy five? Um, seventy five point five, I think, of just basically killing one. And yeah, that's what you would want to do for the warrior skill. You don't really have to pay attention to where it sits. Um, easily done. So the next one is called the pet hoarder that requires you to obtain nine unique pets. Um, so now everyone starts with a bingo pets, no matter what rank you are, depending on the rarity, obviously. Um, so that's one. The next one, a bee pet. That's two. Um, two blocks of gold, coal. You can buy that from Wow. Um, you can buy it from some NPCs right here in the mine merchant, or you can go towards the deep caverns, two blocks of gold, two blocks of coal. And then the also other option is going to be a grandma's wolf. I'm going to show you exactly where you need to go, which is going to be right here. Do some parkour up towards grandma's wolf. Go up to the stairs and then speak to grandma. She will give you a grandma's wolf, which is no idea where it is. Oh, right here. Um, it'll be a common for you guys. I just have a legendary because it's already upgraded. Um, and then the fourth, fifth pet, sixth pet. Um, Go towards the mind skill rock pet milestone. I believe the first one, which is going to be a common, um, instead of it being 250k that you see on screen, it's going to be 2500 um, for you to get a rock pet. And you also have another one. Um, I believe it's 250 for a common dolphin pet. Um, but yeah, you would have to kill sea creatures. I'm not really a fan of killing sea creatures. Um, I'm, and I'm not really a fan of fishing. But wanted to put it, that into the video. What I would be actually doing is... I would actually be doing, um... If you go towards your farming collection and raw chicken. Um, you basically get an enchanted egg at 2,500 um, raw chicken um, collection. Um, you would also need to have unlocked the chicken egg, chicken head collection. Um, this is basically done if you go towards, if you have a chicken minion and you basically wait for them to lay eggs. Um, yeah, so basically they're it does have a upgrade, but you basically want to wait for them to lay eggs. And that's how you would want to get your enchanted egg because you can craft, um, I believe, tree pets, which is going to be um, a Jerry pet. Um, what else? One, a pig pet. Um, easily done by just killing pigs. A rabbit pet, easily done by just killing rabbits. 
Um, and then obviously there is some RNG, um, some RNG, what's it called? RNG pets that are available. Um, I know for sure killing some Endermen that will give you um, Ender pets as well as killing other mobs. Um, you do have the chance to get um, armadillos from um, in what's it called? Oh my god! From fossils, I believe, in the crystal hollows. Um, I recommend just switching lobbies and asking if there is any quartz to um, armadillos. And if you do um, join the Discord where you're, it is getting the free splash, they do have a channel where you can um, have other people find armadillo coordinates. As well as the other option, but it requires you to have money in about three days, five hours, you're gonna be seeing a Oringo, which is gonna be getting a traveling zoo um i cannot guarantee that you could get um it's gonna be happening two times during bingo um i'm not guaranteeing that you could get pets from traveling zoo but it's also a backup but you would need um a specific amount of items and um money towards um buying the pets but yeah that's what you would want would want to do for the pet hoarder um Honestly, not a bad goal to do, but also not very easy as well. So, the next one is called Love is All Around. I'm going to show you exactly what you would want to do um, for this um, quest. It requires you to, oh my goodness, um, it requires you to get the mediocre ring of love. It's going to take a while. An easier shot is if you do slash visit portal hub and you go towards more um, I believe any of the islands have it um, where is it you can expand spruce bush okay you want to go towards jungle and you would want to talk to this NPC called Juliet um, she should be here where is Juliet? Oh, okay, yeah, right here. Um, oh yeah, you would also need a pickaxe, um, 64 emeralds, 15 poppies. Um, but right now we're gonna show you how to get the mediocre ring of love. Um, did I do there? Yes, okay. So Romero, he's in a cave. He is in a cave and he would want to go towards cave um over here um, right here we want to land right there you want to talk to Romero this is the guy he looks like um what's it called find Waldo or something um he wants you to find a gold mine in the Savannah Woodland. Let's see if I could do parkour. Yes, I can. Oh my god. Oh. Yes, I can. Um, so for the gold mine, that's actually located right there. Take out your pickaxe. And just mine some... Gold. Where is it? What? Do I need smoke and touch? I think I need smoke and touch. Okay, never mind. I guess it just a chance to drop anyways um here's the yellow rock you would want to go back towards marrow 
and you want to give this to him, he'll give you it back in a present. Again, do some parkour. And I failed. Oh, damn. Um, and then go back towards Juliet. Over here. And then give it to her like that. She gives you a shiny light yellow rock, but that's not what you want. Um, just wait for the end. You see, um, okay, yeah, got it. Um, give it a little bit. I'll wait. Um, go towards the hub after you, um, finish talking to Juliet. And then the next quest will be over here is where you find Romero. This is actually where you get the poppies. Um, so that if you didn't want to do that. Um, gives you a rose bouquet. That's very nice. Um, is that all the things? Okay, yeah. Bring the items towards Juliet. Go back to Portal Hub. Um, go towards the jungle island and the emeralds actually you can get from the deep caverns at the slime hill so that's where you would want to get the emeralds um, and that's going to be in our next after this That was art for me. So kind of you. You know I'm with Romero, right? Oh, dear. Sorry for the inconvenience. I love how she's just talking to herself. It's like, that's what I'm doing, but like, that's different, right? Um, And then go back towards the hub. And then he's actually going to be towards an emerald altar, which is over there. I don't think I could parkour there. Okay, yeah, doesn't look for me. Um, in the graveyard where the emerald stuff are, you would find Romero here. Don't get killed by these zombies. I'm about to get killed by these. Oh my god, I did not realize. I did not realize. Um, go towards back portal hub and go towards back the jungle island. Give Juliet the fake emerald altar and you would get your mediocre ring of love easily like that. Um, but yeah, this is very long. And yeah, that's basically mediocre in the love. I guess I'll just wait for this text to do. And yes, that's how you would want to do the mediocre ring of love. And it's obviously a talesman actually as well um, that will count towards the bedazzled. So the next quest is called Hunter. It requires you to collect pelts. Um, if you go towards the Mushroom Desert, I believe that requires um, farming level 5 to unlock, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but what you want to do is follow this path towards um, where you could actually find an NPC. He will give you a quest to kill an animal. It's called Trevor the Trapper. Um, Desert Mountain, of course. Um, no idea where this would be. Sometimes the animal does die by unforeseen circumstances. <laughs> um, but you would want to basically find out where this animal is. No idea where it is, to be honest. 
Okay, I actually did abandon that one. That was on the mountain. Switch locations. Um, this is an example of basically the mobs that you would want to um, kill. Basically, it's gonna be um, something that whatever says if it says untrackable animal. Um, just like the chicken that you just seen, it had untrackable tag on it. And that's basically what you want to do for the um, pelt community goal. And obviously, um, you could do it repeatedly to get more bingo points. Um, but just doing one quest is just fine. The next one is called Critical. It requires you to reach 100 crit damage. 100 crit damage is actually not that hard. Um, what you want to do, actually, is go towards skills. I believe it's... Yes, enchanting level 9, you basically want to get um, easily done by just enchanting your stuff at the librarian. And I believe any weapon, actually, um, is fine. And you would want to just put... Um, critical 5 on it and it is cost 50 XP levels but it's, yeah um, pretty much easily gotten easily go and not that much to it so the next goal is called fairy finder obtain 25 fairy souls um, I'm on bad line the update. Um, they have fairy soul waypoints built right into it. As you can see, fairy soul. Um, I'll go to here. Fairy soul. Fairy soul. Um, basically, you just want to get 25 of those. Um, they're all across the sky block. Um, islands and if you don't have bad line or you don't have a um, mod that does have it um, just searching up on YouTube and just finding like a fairy soul um, guide is just enough for that and you just need 25 a lot of these are basically um, easily done by just walking towards it and just click on it so you don't need to get um, a grappling hook or even ender pearls for that much um and yeah that's how you would want to do the fairy finder quest so easier this actually goes hand in hand kind of the relic researcher um but it requires you to store 500,000 coins in your bank um as for money making methods to be honest they're actually really isn't any money sinks here um yeah there actually isn't um any money sinks here that you would want to actually yeah actually just buying armor and just like um weapons is basically kind of the only thing um but anyways, for 500,000, if you actually just, um, I will leave in the description of finding relics that will give you 310,000 coins. Um, and as for finding the rest 290,000 coins, getting, going towards the mine merchant, um, getting one gold ingots, and then getting two sticks from wood, enchanting it with efficiency I believe two is just fine um uh, I believe it's like 10 levels I think um this is enchanting your shovel with efficiency two going towards the mushroom desert and just mining the sand is certainly actually enough um why did I do um, it's certainly enough towards to get you some money. Um, even mining material in the dwarven mines, or even basically just selling stuff that you don't need, is enough to basically kind of get you towards that 500,000 coin mark. Um, 
and I didn't even mention that like what scavenger that requires you to get um coins with the enchant. So yeah, you're basically getting coins just playing the game basically. And that's what you would want to do for um easier. If you are having trouble, um I know 250,000 bone collection. If you are nearing that goal, I mean 100,000 bone collection, let me rephrase that. Um, if you are nearing that goal, you could sell the excess, um, the excess bones as well as for the jungle wood, you can sell the excess jungle wood, um, as well as the diamonds to get towards, um, the goal of 500,000 coins in your bank. So the next goal is called Relic Researcher. It requires you to find 10 relics in the spider's den. Again, I would be leaving um, you with a YouTube video of how to get all the relics. I believe there is 28 of them. Um, you do want to actually get a decent armor set as well as ender pearls. Um, and I think maybe a weapon that could at least like one two shot them, two shot the spiders. Because where the relics are located, um, the vast majority is actually located in um, this K right here. And these are actually pretty tough. Um, I do not have any armor. But I do have some defense, I think. Yeah, I do have some defense. Um, usually on bingo profiles, you pretty much get like one, two shot um, by the spiders. So watch out for that when doing the Relic Researcher. Um, I know that the Pristal Bank, when playing bingo, um, you would not have a cooldown. So whenever you do get coins, go to your Skyblock menu, Pristal Bank, deposit it and that will basically kind of help you um as i said with the meteor goal of storing the 500,000 coins um but yeah that's it for the relic researcher for a pet grinder um it requires you to obtain a level 100 pet now even though the text is green um you don't actually need to have your pet be an uncommon level um, it could be any pet that you want to have. I recommend just doing the bingo pets. Um, and all levels of bingo, it's actually... Um, the XP is basically towards um, the common variant, which is very much easy to level up. And also as well as if you want to do level 100 pet faster um whoops if you go toward zog and you buy i recommend doing the um 40 percent exp boost for mining um because of if i actually get all this for a pigeon i'm gonna go to dwarven mines real quick because I don't actually have it um, because I maxed out, I believe, mining, I think. Or no, I had maxed out on the mountain. Um, but instead of powder, you will actually see XP. And it's going to be basically a ton of XP. Oh, actually, wait, never mind. It is there. Um, yeah, you actually do get a lot of XP. So 5k, 6k, um, 10k. And if you get the 40% um, EXP boost from Zog, um, you're going to be getting much more exp um attributed to pets with that as well um as long even when playing bingo um your taming xp it will basically give you um better pet experience just by leveling up your pets um as well as what else and speaking about more of mining if you're doing um certain amount of commissions um as you can see if you do a hundred just in a day if you're doing a hundred across the bingo profile 
you're getting 400,000 mining experience. Plus, if you're adding that 40%, that's a lot. As well as the 200,000 mining experience, adding the 40% um, EXP boost, you're getting much more. Um, as well as the 100,000 mining experience, a lot more. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how you would want to deal with the um, level 100 um, pet grinder. You just want to get that bingo pet equipped as soon as you start playing the game. Then the next one is called Let the Star Fall. It requires you to kill Team Treasure Right members. Team Treasure Right members, they do have high health and they can basically one shot you. Um, so I do recommend getting a decent armor set as well as a decent weapon. Um, now again, Team Treasure Rat members, they're actually found, hopefully I can find it, um, let me just put this one. Um, let me go towards Crystal Hollows. They're found in the Metro Deposit section. Hopefully I could find them. But they do have high health. It's, um, okay, yeah, this is a Team Treasure Rat member. If I take off the sun and stuff. Yeah, I'm not wearing much armor, but on Bingo Profile, you can also expect yourself to be basically kind of one shot, as well as like not doing that much damage. So, um, so yeah, kind of expect that from Team Treasure Act members. As soon as you can one two shot them, there is basically um certain areas. Um, certain areas that you can expect to find lots of them. So right here, for some reason, um, there is a lot of Team Treasure Right members. And that's how you want to basically complete um, the final community goal, Team Treasure Right members. Um, expect that to be kind of like the last goal you would want to focus on just because how hard it is and yeah so that is it for your bingo august 22 edition a lot of these goals um as i said in the intro i would be going down a um a rundown when i do complete these um, specifically the Bedazzled, Bestiary, and, um, what else? If I do manage to kill a Team Treasure Right member, I will, um, do that as well. Even for the Pet Grinder as well. Um, I don't think there's any much more... Yeah, to be honest, actually just for the Bedazzled and Beast Harry. Um, and then I guess Pet Grinder um, is some stuff I would be able to make a video on um, the closer I get um, the bingo done. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Leave a comment, like, and or subscribe. And good luck in your August 2022 um bingo see you guys next month actually and later this week when i do a video upon the rundown of what i did for bingo and good luck and thank you for watching